heard Tommy talk with Andy Farrell there about Joey pushing Johnny Sexton. So you would have experienced, for instance, the, um, the rivalry between, say, for instance, Sexton and O'Gara when they were really vying for things. Carberry and Sexton feels like a much more cordial, friendly, respectful relationship. That would strike me as a healthier state of affairs for the two players and for the team. Now, would you agree with that or would you like a touch of pointy elbows about their relationship? No, I, I, I certainly think that for the benefit of the team, you want everyone getting on well. You're two number 10s. Johnny and Joey have a really good relationship. I remember one time, it was a Wednesday afternoon, we were going practicing kicking in 2010, I think it was. It was me, Johnny, Raj on the bus. They wouldn't speak to each other. It was so awkward. <laughs> I was sitting there in the back on my phone, <laughs> get off this bus as soon as possible. So I didn't think it was healthy at the time. And particularly when Johnny's captain now, you've got to lead by example and be inclusive to the other players around you. Yes. But, but it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be fractious. But I do think, um, you know, too, too friendly a relationship isn't beneficial to Joey, actually. I think Joey has to... If you look at when Rog and Sex were there, Sexto came in, he said, Rog, you're gone, you're useless. He didn't rate him, yeah. you know? And it was the same with Ronan with Humps before that. And maybe it's a 10 thing, maybe that's what you have to... But I think we've all been subjected to it. You know, Tommy Bow, when, you know, took my place, and he, I'm sure he was there, that Horgan guy's passed it, he's useless, let me in. It's almost that youth has to come in and take over and say, this is mine now, my time is here, it's over. And Joey isn't quite there, it doesn't feel like he's quite there yeah, at the point where he says, Sexto, get out of here, that, I'm taking that over. That could be his personality, though. It, might, it mightn't suit him to be caught up in the inevitable tension that might break out, though. It doesn't make, he's got to, it doesn't make any difference, Joe. If he's got to, you've got to find a way to be a warrior. You know, you, 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 and it doesn't mean you're fighting or anything. The great Simon Porter and the great Australian back rower used to always say, if you don't have blood at training, you're not yeah. going to have a good game on Saturday. So, so yeah, what you know, are you I don't, mean, about I don't mean physical fighting. Yeah. I mean, but th that's the sort of attitude you've got to have. It's your, you don't own the jersey, you're a steward of the jersey. And the next guy has got to take that jersey on and make it better. But, but let me ask you, what's a healthy example of that? It's not like I'm not passing the ketchup at dinner. I mean, what, what, is, what would you like to yeah, see? Tommy Bay said he didn't pass, Robbie didn't pass the ball. It's because he couldn't so, score. <laughs> what's an example of what you'd like to see with your tens? You, you've got to have uh, uh, a real friction of competitiveness in the team for the positions. It doesn't mean you're not all pushing for the same goal, but there has to be huge competitiveness within... For, for well, positions. Well, we we don't know that they don't do that. No, I think no. it's, it's in Joey's nature to be a little bit more reserved. And yeah. certainly an individual who'll say, well, I'll do my talking on the field when I get my opportunities. Mm. He just hasn't had enough of them yet. And, and he's, he's got an injury toll that you, you wouldn't wish on anyone. So I think his confidence is down. And that a, a point of that is, I think it's his footwork. I sort of shame. Look, your footwork is everything. When you want to go forward as a ten, you've got to get your outside shoulder face the ball, outside foot up, and that takes you straight. And sometimes Joey's feet are pointing towards the wing because he's trying to buy time because mm. he hasn't got confidence. So but, that might come up, become as he, as he improves. And, and, and this and this game is is. You know, really beneficial to him. Yeah. You know, it's a great opportunity. Matt was right. It was very difficult to do the, the type of performance that we saw Sexton deliver against Wales for you know, Joey to emulate it against France. It was a completely different setup, much more difficult. Mm. But he does or should have the opportunity in the platform to you know, demonstrate his skills this time out against Italy. And you know, So you know, maybe he rates himself much higher than Sexton. We don't know, but I think the more opportunity he gets to demonstrate his skills, the more he'll believe himself. And if we look at Marcus Smith, you know, which, who's everybody's talking at the moment. You know, Jerry Flanley, who's, who's a coach of his in, in Harlequins, mentioned that he was, you know, they did a session with him and he said that he, wa he wanted to be the best player in the world. So that's the kind of level that you have to, of confidence that you need your ten to have. Yeah. You know, I'm sure Sexton thought he was the best in the world when he was taken from, over, over from O'Gara. I know Gar O'Gara thought he was the best, <laughs> certainly, you know. And, and there was probably another mitigating circumstance for Joey last week. It's the first time since Paul O'Connell's taken over that the Irish line out didn't function on all cylinders. Mm. Their line-out was actually... The, they didn't lose a lot of ball, but the French made it messy. So jo Joey just yes. didn't, get, didn't get the same ball on a platter that, that, they, that, um, that uh, uh, Sexton got. Yes. So in some respects, Rob, this could be the start, maybe, of Joey Carberry starting to really push Sexton, because we keep hearing about the gap, the gap, the gap. This might be the start of his real opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the perfect opportunity for him. But we are now at a level of expectancy of 40-point victory today. And if Joey doesn't give us that, where it's only a 15, 20-point victory, what, what are the conversations going to be like then? So it is a brilliant opportunity, but at the same time, Ireland needs to score a lot of tries, and he needs to be the key driver behind that.